Hey guys, we're back again with another video, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own hi-fi speaker wires. You can do the same, you can follow these same steps to make your own hi-fi video and audio cables as well, but in this one, we're just going to focus on speaker wire. Now, I've seen speaker wire like this go for as high as $300, and what we're going to do is show you how to make that for a fraction of the cost. In fact, the entire cost of this build is about $20 to $25. Stay tuned, and we're going to go ahead and show you what you need to build these. You don't need much. First thing you need is some speaker wire. Now I'm using 14 gauge, but you can use 12, 10, whatever size you want. And if you notice, it says 2C. That stands for two conductors. So inside there is a red and a black conductor. You will want something with an outer jacket on it like this. Uh, typically this is considered CL2 or CL3 rated wire. This is actually right here, CL2 rated. Uh, typically that means that you can run it in wall. Uh, now there's a reason why you're going to want that jacket on the outside and you're going to see why later. The other thing you're going to need is some of this. This is what we call TechFlex and you'll see why we're going to want this. This comes in a big old spool of whatever length you want. You can get this on uh, eBay or what I like to do is I like to get all of this. All of this stuff can be sourced directly from Parts Express. You can get all of your stuff right there. You're also going to want some of these and these are what we call cable jackets. Once again, these are also sold at Parts Express. I'll leave all the links and descriptions in the, uh, I'm sorry, all the links in the description down below. Uh, now these are eight millimeter, which fit the 14 gauge perfectly. And you're going to need uh, two for every wire that you want to make. So I'm making two wires, so I'm going to use four of those. And you're going to need, of course, enough of this TechFlex to do whatever size speaker wire you want. Uh, the last thing that you're going to want are these. Um, and these are banana plugs. You're going to want them from the end. Now these I also picked up from Parts Express. These are very, very nice and you're going to see it afterwards. These are going to look really sharp afterwards. Uh, although you could also use you know, cheap connectors like these. These are uh, Suels, I think, that came from Amazon. Very inexpensive. Um, but you can use whatever look that you're going for. And that's the great thing about this. This TechFlex that I got is gray, but you can do whatever color you want. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, first thing you want to do is take out your speaker wire and cut it to length. But cut it about four inches longer than whatever size. So if you wanted a three foot, you're going to want to do uh, 36 inches plus four more inches. So make that 40 inches. And while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and cut our speaker wire. Now, I already cut this. And mine is pretty long. I think I ended up deciding to do um, like 12 feet for each one. And there's a reason for that, but uh, none really that important. So what you're gonna wanna do is take the end of the speaker wire and take the end of the TechFlex. The thing that you're gonna know, notice about the TechFlex is it is flexible. Um, and it grows and expands via the speaker cable. So you need to get just a little bit over and it will actually stretch the rest of the way on. And then just keep pushing it through. Now you will notice through the TechFlex you can actually see part of the wire. Um, that's actually really neat. So although that also will tell you what color wire you want because you can buy different colors of these jackets, right? So you can get this in white or black. Sometimes you get even um, other colors besides that, like a blue or a red or whatever. And you just keep pushing that on until you get it all the way through. Now, sometimes it can get hard to push this through. So what you're going to do is hold tight on this end, hold tight on this end until you get like a bungee and then release and slide it down and keep doing that. And it might take a little bit of time to do this. Um, this doesn't slide real, real easy, and that's good because when it's completely on there, you don't want it to slide off or anything. Um, since I have a really, really long cord that I decided to show you on, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and finish this up so that I can show you the rest of it. All right, guys, I have this finished putting in. Um, now, you notice I said, you know, make it a little bit longer, and here's the reason why. Uh, first of all, this text like started to fray. That's okay. We'll cut that down. Um, you need to cut part of this off and you need to cut enough of this off to fit the boot on here with these going on the end. So I already did that on the other side. Show you what that looks like. Here's the other side of that. And if you see 
the white is cut back and I just use a knife to cut that back and now what we're gonna do is just slide the boot right on it's a pretty simple process uh, it can be kind of a pain sometimes to get these through and you're gonna want to also fit it over the tech flex which can be a can be a hassle to get done and sometimes what helps is to make these extra long so that you can put them through there first now there you go so now your end is done and now what we have to do is trim these ends up with our wire cutters and put these on and these are pretty cool these unscrew um, these actually unscrew three ways uh, you don't really need to unscrew them both times but you can unscrew this end and put it on and I like these because they fit on uh, these wire boots really well and so we can place both these on there and sometimes with this one it can be a little tight so you might need to twist it a little uh, to get it on and what you're going to do here is this is a pretty simple thing there is actually a set screw here that you unscrew and when we strip this we'll put this in here and tighten that down and so I'm just gonna get my little screwdriver out and unscrew this now I'll take that little plastic part out and you see that's gonna accept a pretty high gauge I should tell you though that although I and I, I love these banana plugs and I really like the set set screw on them. However, I should say that if you're going to be using um, anything really greater than uh, 14 gauge or these eight millimeter wire boots or 14 gauge wire, you're going to have maybe some issues fitting it into the wire over the wire jacket. Uh, that's not a problem. Just use a little bit, uh, cut that just a little too long. Just use a little bit smaller wire or get a little bit different banana plugs. But I, I would highly suggest these set screws. One, they look a lot nicer. And two, they hold a lot better too. Once you have this set, you're not going to have to worry about this coming off. And that is a nice thing. Just make sure that you're actually hitting bare wire. Don't, don't be hitting the speaker jacket because otherwise you're not going to get a connection. And so... There we go, let's screw that up and on. There you go, well, let's do the other side. All right guys, one side is completely done. Now look how nice that looks. That is your whole wire. Now let me go ahead and finish the other side and I'll show you what this looks like complete. One cable is completely finished. All right, guys, for the Suels, you do basically the same thing. You start off with your jacket, and then the Suels, they just actually unscrew. Oops. You put this end on, and now this is a little bit different. These just fold over these edges. And. You just kind of fold over evenly as evenly as you can and you take the other end and you screw it back on it also gives a tight connection but when you look at it you got space here which is fine it's not a big deal but this one to me on the left looks like a more expensive cable than this one on the right I'll go ahead and finish this so that way you can see them both right next to each other and you can make a determination for yourself of what type of connectors you choose all right, guys, here they are both completely finished, and here is the Suel on the right and the All Parts Express one on the left. Like I said, I personally like this one better than this one, but the choices are yours. Look at all the different connections. Pick the ones that you like. And if you guys enjoyed this content, please like it, hit the subscribe button, and I'll make sure to have some more videos out to you guys later. Comment in the description below. Tell me which one you like better. Thanks.